Thanks for your questions, the discussions, perspectives, and contacts. It's all uh, going to accrue to the benefit of the group when it's all over. But right now, I want to introduce my man, Craig Norman. Uh, he'll tell you his story, but I think this is another example of people who are making Pan-Africanism functional by uh, not just talking it, but doing it. And so he'll tell you all about what he's doing. Please listen. Brother Craig. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Mm. Yes, greetings, uh, Craig. Hello, Good morning. Been a long Glad time, brother. See you. Yes. I was yes. good to see you, man. I always would like to let people know that uh, you know we have many options for them on real estate development, you know. That's great. That, That's great. We just need them to this. Whenever I see you, I know there's a group that um, I can speak on about the project. Um, my project is called Stadium View Estates. I am, uh, my name is Craig Norman. I am a land developer in the U.S. <clears throat> uh, I'm an architect, I'm a land plan and a land planner. Uh, I've been doing that since 1984. I came to Ghana in 1998 and bought land in 2005. I bought land to do a land development project. Um, so, uh, I put together a subdivision and decided that what was needed here, since so many, Bomani's group, there are other groups, so many African Americans come to Ghana thinking with the idea that they want to repatriate, they want to start businesses, they want to live and function in Ghana. Uh, Ghana is very different than what uh, you're used to in the U.S. It's very different. There's a period of adjustment that tends to take a couple, three years uh, to adjust to the way life is here. Life here is financially better than life in the U.S. You come here and the money that you have will allow you to explore ideas and things that you just can't do in the U.S. without the type of wealth um, that um, uh, it takes. Here, the average person can go very far with their retirement 401k or their income if they're working for um, one of the companies here. You can go very far and you can do quite a bit. Since I, uh, I'm from California, I'm actually from Chicago, but uh, I finished college in California, um, Los Angeles, Cal Poly, and um, I've been doing uh, subdivision design ever since that that time. I've created millionaires out of many people um, who bought land and after a zone change had took place they were able to sell that land for ten times more than what they paid for and paid for it at least. This was done, I did this primarily like I said and I did it all over America but Southern California was my um, uh, my station, so to speak. Okay. I came to, to Ghana as a Peace Corps volunteer and realized that there's so much more that can be done, that we can do, that we can't do elsewhere. Um, so I purchased uh, land and put together a subdivision. Now, what was the motivation? The motivation was simple. I told you the transition when you repatriate from U.S. to Ghana is tough. It's tough. It's a challenge. Things that you uh, normally do and expect go very different when they're here. Their norm is different from your norm. So your expectations in many cases don't fit with the norms that are here. You have to adjust. You have to adjust. 
Well, the reason I put together or the motivation for my subdivision was that I want to create a place where you can repatriate to that still allows you some of the comforts that you experience wherever you've come from, if it's US, UK, whatever, um, so that your transition will be made easier uh, into um, Ghanaian life or African life, however you want to deal with it. So I put together a subdivision that's called a master plan community. Um, the name of it is Stadium View Estates. Um, it, we're still, we're in the uh, development stage. The infrastructure is in place. Um, we are building the uh, um, various common facilities now. The subdivision will have commercial about a um, uh, 100,000 square feet of commercial. Um, the, the, it will have, as I, as I say, we'll have a jazz club, we'll have stores, um, there will be a clinic, there will be a, a vocational school and an elementary school, and then the normal swimming pool, tennis court, that whole thing. That is what is planned um, in the project. The project like I said, is in its beginning stages, so um, a lot of uh, what I'm telling you is in the process of being built. Um, so if we go to the site, you will be able to see where everything is, is going to be located and where we are in the construction process. You would be able, the, the plots uh, in the U.S. a lot here in Ghana, it's a plot, just put a P in front of it. Um, so a plot or a lot size is 70 by 100, which is 7,000 square feet. We have three, and actually coming up to a fourth model home. We have three model homes that are actually, I think, shown in the handout that I gave you um, that are under construction right now. <clears throat> there are they are 3,000 square feet, 4,000 square feet, 5,000 square feet. They're three bedroom, uh, three bedroom, three bath, four bedroom, three and a half bath, and five bedroom, four bath. Those are the units, are the uh, homes that are being built. The prices go range from 110,000 to 150,000. There's a web page, a website that you can go to. It's on the handout that I've given you, and it'll give you plenty more detail on the homes and the structures and those things associated with it. So I think um, if I'm right, Romani, well, you want to take a, take a visit to the site, um, and if that's the case, then when we get an opportunity, I'm more than willing to take you there. I called uh, some of the people at the site, and they are um, going to meet us there. That's so perfect. So about, what, uh, 15 minutes we can leave? Yeah, I think my food just came, so I will Okay, cool. hurry with that, and then we can go if you'd like. Uh, 15, 30 minutes are perfect. Okay, great. So that's basically, that's basically what my project and what I'm doing here. There are many people, uh, African Americans, doing many things here. There are many. Um, we need many more. Ghana has its challenges. Ghana has its challenges. One of the things that we have to realize is that we're African Americans. They don't recognize that term. They don't recognize that concept. You may even hear someone say that, if you're from there, why do you want to be from here? If you're from there, why do you want to be from here? One of the things Jerry uh, is putting together, and why there's the wall and the other things, 
is to explain and educate. Not, on, not particularly us, we know, but the various schools that come to visit the wall and whatnot, he explains more about why we're, why we're here and what we're about and who we are. So that is um, basically what I'd like to say for now. Any other questions, or any questions, I'll take them, and any other comments we can have at the site. A perfect uh, game plan. Anybody have anything they'd like to share or say? Or you just wait, or you just want to wait till you see the actual land and read through the material? All right. Then I'll step aside and um, eat. All right, well, appreciate uh, you, Craig. I'm not sure if uh, you gave out your contacts in the recording, but if you want to share it in the recording. Okay, uh, good. Um, first off, the handout has everything. Um, my uh, phone number, contact number in Ghana is, what is it, 057-012-0606. The website is Stadium or what, www, of course, stadiumviewestates.com. All right, well, appreciate you, brother, once again, and we're looking forward to seeing the property, and take care and enjoy your meal, and we'll reconnect. Thank you.